friends. Hike 360 here. Hike 360 here. Hello, beautiful people. Um, I wanted to talk about how we cold camp, how we sleep, how we stay warm. And I know we've talked about this electric blanket deal, you know, but electric blanket aside. What else are we doing? What else are we doing and how are we layering? And this is November. It's still cold. We've learned a few things so far. Yeah. Um, but I've, I, I'm curious to do the record now and then do a record in January or February and see where we are at that point. Well, I'll, I'll start. I'll tell you yeah. guys what uh, what I'm wearing what I'm wearing to sleep. Uh, I've got a dry fit a dry fit shirt, and then I got the Hike 360 mid layer, which is like another dry fit long sleeve. And then I've got like a cotton hoodie that I got up in the Porkies. Uh, it's just uh, a hoodie with the with the hood, and I put that up. Which you're wearing. Which I am wearing. That's that's this right here. Uh, so and then over that I put on my my winter coat and uh, So and then I've got these gloves that I wear that I wore last night and the hat that I wore too So I've got uh, and, and my long hair um, That's definitely good insulation. I'm really proud of it, but uh, I got my hat on I got my hood on over it and then uh, I pull the hat down over my eyes uh, and I sleep really well uh, so I'm in my cocoon, uh, my cocoon sheet, uh, which is just a thin layer that I get into before I get into my sleeping bag. Uh, and then I'm, so I'm in my sleeping bag, and over the sleeping bag I had the electric blanket for the first time. So, and then I'm wearing uh, dry fit boxers, and I'm wearing these long, uh, long pants, and I'm comfortable, and I'm really warm. And uh, it's, it's been working out for me, so basically I go to bed fully clothed. Uh, probably wouldn't be able to keep that pattern up if we were doing uh, you know, through hikes or if we had more of a worry of wildlife just because I'm eating in these the night before and whatever, whatever, but I wear everything to bed and it works. Well, I'm pretty close. Uh... You know the wool socks that I hike in. Um, if I if I am doing a, a longer hike, I have a sleeping pair of wool socks, so I'll I'll switch in and out. Um, but for these, yeah, I just keep my regular socks on. These pants uh, are my hiking my winter hiking pants, which I found on a stupid uh, Instagram ad, and I couldn't resist because they're fleece on the inside here. And they are warm and comfortable and just great. Uh, and it's one of those crappy little ads where they really don't have their act together. So they sent me two pairs and two different shipments, even though I only ordered one. So I've got backup. And I really enjoy them, but they are falling apart. They already need to be sewn. Uh, but these are really warm. And then similar to you, i got a dry fit under uh, a what is this, a mock turtleneck or something. Got a bit of a collar there. Yeah, a little bit of a collar, which uh, if I didn't have the, this on tonight, I would have worn my neck gaiter or whatever those things are called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I have the 360 mid, which is great. Uh, it's a mid layer. That's actually all I, I, I sleep in, in terms of clothing, with my hat, skull cap. Um, I take my jackets off. Today, uh, I've got the same Patagonia 3-in-1. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made, the Patagonia 3-in-1 winter jacket. And uh, I love, I, I wear all three pieces separately. And uh, today, I've got the, the down uh, inner layer with uh, my Springbank shell. This is Springbank Distillery, uh, which I got in Scotland last fall. And this is just exactly a year ago this is just a great shell it's got an inside kind of you know reflective deal but I don't sleep in that but what I do is so we've got our, our same kind of sleeping bags are negative 15 or positive 15 degrees uh, so they're pretty darn they're pretty good um, and then I use the cocoon but when I get in the cocoon I get in it uh, I, I roll it over backwards 
So normally the cocoon, like the front end, would come here, and then the back end will come up over your head. So I flip it around so that that back is actually in front of me. So, you know, our sleeping bag mummifies like this. I, ha I do that normally. And then the cocoon is, is a pseudo mummy that I put in reverse, and that's what I use, and I sleep with that over my head. And it's thin enough to let my air out. <laughs> but thick enough to not freeze my face when I sleep. And that gives me a lot of space. I'm not wearing gloves, I'm not wearing um, anything other than like one or two layers, and then I'm generally warm enough. And then I got my pillow, which dances throughout the, the night. Yeah, the inflatable pillows tend to do laps. Yeah. Um, but we were talking a little bit this morning and I thought it was interesting how how different we we sleep, even though we've got like almost all the same materials. Just how differently we're using them. Uh, I don't put anything over my my mouth, but I do kind of just curl up on myself, and that seems to do it for me. Yeah, before for now. before we had the cocoon, and I used that, I would use uh, like a golf towel, uh, you know, for my golf bag. That over my face, but I like it. it All right, so we'll see where we are in January if we've made the dip into the more temperature controlled sleeping bags. If we're looking at a new tent that's a winter only tent, or you know, <laughs> with the, the campsites that are limited that we have, we might start experimenting with a hammock. A winter hammock. Winter so, hammock sleeping. Yeah, I mean that's. We'll ha we'll need financial help to do that, but uh, I've seen people do that, and uh, we've got these pine forests. Uh, we've got yeah. hammock hanging opportunity. Not all the sites will have that, but we certainly can stay here more often than not. This is a great campsite. Great campsite. I'm saying. Yeah.